What's going on, everybody? It's Fragged Out, Swagged Out, and you already know why I'm here. Today, I'm going to discuss, as it probably says down here, if you're watching YouTube somewhere, right? Or maybe up here on a mobile device, whatever. Um, I'm going to discuss the latest fragrance from Navi 2's Parfum. And why do I have this fragrance? Number one, it's been making its round throughout social media, and it's getting a lot of positive feedback. And I hear a lot of sexy, and I hear a lot of delicious, and I hear all this... So, a lot of hype. Does it live up to the hype? In terms of my expectations, we're about to find out. So, this is the product right here. This is the box it comes in. I don't usually do boxes. Don't get used to this. It just happened to still be in my house when I recorded this. This box will go in the garbage, just like everything else does. But, that's okay, because no one really cares about the back after they smell the fragrance. It's either good or it's not. And here it is. Here's the bottle of clothes. Um, very typical of Navitu's performance presentation, nothing really different here. And if you know one bottle, you know the rest of the new ones, this is the 50 ml. And the atomizer, of course, always fire. You know, uh, Steven from Red Lessons, who is the creative director, is on point with all those little details that other reviewers are looking at as well as the consumer, you know, it's not, it's not just about reviewers, it's really about what the consumer wants us. So this fragrance right here, it opens up with a very syrupy cherry, a sweet syrupy cherry, maybe a little bit of tart, but mostly syrupy cherry with, with, with a little slight sweet booziness to it. Nothing like what you would uh, think of when you think boozy fragrance. But it has something there. Maybe like the kind of cherry you would throw into an old-fashioned. If you don't drink, don't worry about it. So you get that. Now, I understand that almond and cherry are often used together. And you can use almond to create that cherry vibe. Here, that cherry and the almond are so blended that I can't tell where the cherry starts and the almond, like it's just, it's in there, it's blended, it creates a, like the ultimate cherry opening. As the fragrance starts to dry down, you get an addition of a dark chocolate. It's not a milky chocolate, it's a dark chocolate, but it works with this because the cherry is already so sweet, so syrupy, that that, that dark chocolate kind of balances it out and when you start thinking cherry and you start thinking chocolate, I think the mind already starts putting these really um, sexy ideas in your mind. So it, it, it does work toward that. And I think that was the intent of this fragrance. Now, you also have the Turkish rose in here. And this is going to be a jammy rose, almost fruity leaning kind of rose that's going to blend well with the, And again, again, you start smelling these things, these notes are popping up in your head as you identify them. And it's all like... Sexy, romantic things, roses, cherries, chocolate. And you have that almond cream in the base. You got that vanilla and that amber wood. But ultimately, what you're going to get throughout this fragrance from the opening down to is variation of cherry. Whether it's a super sweet, sexy, syrupy cherry from the opening that meets up with that chocolate and that rose in the mid. And it gives it a little bit of earthiness. A little bit of dark, but a balanced sweetness. And you make your way down to the creamy vanilla and that amberwood with another level of sweetness in the base that gives it a little bit of half. Overall, it's cherry done several ways and it smells amazing. Now, does this fragrance remind me of any other fragrances? Well, ask yourself this. Can you go right now online and find a fragrance that has cherry, almond, Turkish rose, jasmine, and vanilla. Absolutely. There is a fragrance that has those notes. And a fragrance that smells a lot like this one, actually. Is it a clone? No. Why? Because for me, what I'm looking for in that particular scent profile, this does better. The opening is more aggressive. But in a good way. It's just stronger. Um, it lasts hours. And it changes up a little bit. It, it, it doesn't transition heavily. But it transitions in a, it gets better throughout the transition kind of way. So what is the other fragrance that smells very similar to this? It's Lost Cherry. Now, I've said for a long time, I do like Lost Cherry a lot. The only problem I've ever had with Lost Cherry is, especially for the price point, 
I spray it on my skin and about an hour later, I don't smell it anymore. It's almost as if the cherry gets lost. You see what I did there? Anyway, the point is that I do like lost cherry a lot. This does all the things lost cherry will do for you and then some and it lasts longer. And oh, by the way, on the website right now, unless you're changing something, because I just went to the website and it's not opening on any browser. They had a coupon. So I think the 50 ml came came out to like under one hundred and ten dollars, maybe around that around that um, area. But without any coupons, I believe like one twenty five. So at the price point. What you get for that same scent profile, the longevity, the performance, the, the robust body of the fragrance that really creates a sillage um, and a scent bubble around you. Any room you go, it's going to follow you. This one is the winner in my book. And that's just my humble opinion. What do I know? Everybody's different at the end of the day. You know, some people are more uh, brand loyalists and I respect that. And some people want more bang for their buck. And I respect that as well. I'm saying that if you're concerned about longevity of a fragrance and how much you're paying for the exact same, you know, more or less similar profile, you got this. Now, is it the end all be all of cherry and fragrances? I'm not saying that. Um, there's a bunch of cherries out there. Right in my eyesight, you have Forbidden from Aaron Terrence Hughes, uh, Rue Smoking, BDK. And the list goes on. There's a lot of cherry done differently. But... When you talk about that almond, cherry, creamy, vanilla vibe with rose in the mid that kind of gives it a little bit of sophistication and sexiness while it's already being sexy, so calm down on all the sexiness, then right here, uh, Venom of Love by Navitus Perfum does the job and it does it very good. That's really all I have for you folks today. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question or something to add, go ahead and... Uh, Throw it in the comment section. I always reply at minimum. I'll add a heart. Um, if there's something I can actually reply to, I will. Some people just make statements and I don't know what to say to that. But, you know, thanks. And then um, lastly, if you're not following the page, and this is the third or fourth time you've been following this page or watching the video, go ahead and click the, uh, the follow. The little thumb, the little follow, add a comment. It helps me. And when I read people's comments, it tells me, it lets me know like what the vibes are. Should I do a certain uh, fragrance that I talk too much about? It? Whatever it is, just let me know. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Once again, this is Fragged Out, Swagged Out, and I'm out.